Well, what's on your grill? Accidental environmentalist Julia Grieve joins us this morning with some tips for a sustainable barbecue season. Good morning to you. <laughs> Good morning, Annette. So wonderful to be here today. Okay, Annette, it is truly barbecue season, and I'm not here to rain on anyone's parade or anyone's barbecue for that matter, but barbecuing may not be the most sustainable thing going. There was a UK study that showed that a typical barbecue of four people could generate more carbon dioxide than a 130 kilometer drive. Crazy. But wow. listen, and, and that's not just the, the, the lighter fluid on the charcoals that we used to have, right? That's a, this is modern barbecuing. You're right, exactly. But you know what, Annette? Honestly, nothing says summer like that old school barbecue, that right? Smell, the yeah. lighter fluid, everything, your dad burning the burgers. Yep. But that, my, that, my friend, <laughs> is actually the worst option out there. So what you want to do is sort of look for different types of grills that you could find. Now, obviously, a gas grill is going to be better than a charcoal grill. That's for sure. I actually just got into an electric grill. Honestly, Annette, it works. It has great flavors. You can use it inside or outside. That would probably be the most sustainable option. But I know that some people will not give up their charcoal grill. And I do respect that to a point. I do. But may I suggest that you look at a different type of charcoal and looking for lump Cool. This is amazing. It's actually made out of hard wood and it will burn cleaner. One of the best on the market for sure is the Big Green Egg. This is a natural product, no chemicals, and Annette, it's made in Canada. So if you're going to go for your charcoal grill, go for that, okay? Okay. <laughs> and then what are you going to grill on it? All right. You ready for this one? I'm going to make a steak. I'm going to make a cauliflower steak. This is so funny. I always find vegetarians struggle at this time of year. Well, I'm going to show you how to make my famous steak cauliflower steak that will have everyone never wanting a strip loin again. So all you're going to need is a cauliflower and a killer marinade. So the first thing you're going to do in that is you're going to cut your cauliflower like this. Now your first ones will kind of fall apart. Who cares? Now you go down and you want to cut them about two inches thick. So they're about like this. Then you're gonna put them on a cookie sheet and we're gonna marinate. Now here is my biggest hack going. Okay, when you're marinating vegetables, use a salad dressing. No one's ever gonna know, okay? So this one's my absolute favorite, a citrus, ginger, grapefruit, citrus. It's amazing, it's plant-based and it's from Hellman's, it's so good. So put it into a little bowl like this. No one will ever know it came out of a bottle. There we go. <laughs> and then you're just going to marinate your cauliflowers like this. So good. That sort of ginger and those grapefruit flavors work so perfectly with the cauliflower. Then, Annette, you're just going to pop it on your grill. I usually marinate them for about 20 minutes so that flavor can really get in. And then you're just going to pop it on to the grill like that. Now, one tip. When you are grilling these steaks, you got to be careful. Commit to one flip each side. If you start going back and forth and back and forth, they may fall apart. Shh. So okay. you, want to just, you just want to keep it solid like that. So that is something. Just make plants and vegetables the star of the show. Try that this season as opposed to going right for the red meat. Okay. And then I, I like your ideas. You've got great ideas, too, for even uh, the utensils that we use for barbecues. Right. Uh, instead of like paper or plastic plates that you just throw away afterwards. Right, this is so great. And this is so you, Annette. I know you're like me. You like to thrift. You think of simple little things that you can do. I don't know why we're outside. We always have to use plastic. Now, I know sometimes there's children and things will get broken. But what about thrifting a set of dishes that you can just use for outside? And if one wants to get broken, hmm, not a big deal. Using stainless steel cutlery outside. Now, I know some people will always have their plastic. So if you're going to use plastic outside, just make Make sure it's not single use, right? Keep okay. it all season, give it a wash by hand so you can use it over and over again. Just say no to the forks that are wrapped up in plastic, okay? Just say no. <laughs> <laughs> that is a very good first step. <laughs> Julia, thanks very much and happy sustainable barbecuing to you this you season. You too, enjoy it. Thank you so much for having me here, Annette. We'll talk soon.